Alright, so, first off, if you guys notice, my videos keep appearing and disappearing off my channel. It's because, honestly, I'm sick and tired of YouTube. Um, I'll try recording a video on, on there, and I, I did, like, a, you know, a ten minute rant uh, earlier, and it only put up seven. I did another video where it was a eight minute video, they only put up two. So, screw it, I'm going to go back to this method and go from there. Um, what I really want to talk about is something that I did talk about in my rant, but I want to just basically do a, a video on that subject, and that's biofuel. Um, right now, with what's happening in, um, in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, with all that oil spilling from the Gulf, um, reaching land, I believe, today, um, and potentially causing billions of dollars in damage to our, to the economy um, and to the environment. Um, all completely preventable. This is, this is the joke of it. it. It was all completely preventable. If we had got off our asses ten years ago, or fifteen years ago, or twenty years ago, and said, we need to do something different. The internal combustion engine powered by gasoline is willfully inefficient. It's completely, completely inefficient. I mean, it, it uses, you know, out of 100% of the fuel you put in, you only actually, the percentage that actually moves the car is only in like the 20 to 30% versus things like another technology which exists today and is better now than it has ever been, diesel. You could put, just if you just stopped selling gasoline engines today, you just said, you know what? Across the board, if you're going to buy a new car, it's going to be diesel. If you're going to buy a new truck, it's going to be diesel. And people go, you know, I, people saying, well, we, we don't have enough diesel fuel. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And here's why. Has anybody ever, go, you know, you've gone by a refinery and seen those towers with a little flame coming out the top? You know what that is doing? That's breaking the oil, specifically breaking diesel, breaking down the diesel so that the diesel, the diesel, gets re refined into gasoline. If we stopped that process and just kept the diesel that existed, we would have enough. But you got to keep in mind that now that, you know that people, you know, the, the life cycle of cars, you know, we're talking that over a 10-year period, we would get 75% of the cars on the road would become diesel. Okay? So, over time. This is not something that would happen immediately. But over a 10 year span, what we could also do is ramp up production of biofuel. People going, oh, there's not enough biofuel. There is. It's, it's totally, totally there. We can use, you know, right now we can put farmers to work growing hemp or switchgrass or other, ve or other, um, other things that we can turn into biofuel. Okay, not only, not only the including the biofuel from the seeds and so on, but the biomass could replace coal and other things. Okay, that would put farmers back to work. So instead of sending money over seas, we'd be actually putting farmers to work. Then another technology which is coming online rapidly is algae, is algae-based biofuels. And people going, oh, there's not enough. Yeah, there is. It would literally take you know, almost no time if we had the money to build the facilities out in the middle of nowhere, you know, that could be, could make the biofuel to the specifics that we want. We can make biofuel rocket fuel. We can have bio rocket fuel. Yeah. Okay, the, the U.S. government is already using it in one of their um, one of the jets that they're, ju they're just putting out. They're using biofuel. The U U.S. military realizes this. They're switching over to starting to get serious about biofuel. Why aren't we? 
and people going, oh, there's not the infrastructure. Every single gasoline pump that's out there right now can pump biofuel. It works just the same as gas. Okay, and people, you know, saying, oh, well, people aren't going to accept it. You know what? You could start off with exactly what we have right now. Right now, just people starting to use diesel. And as more cars come online, more of the pumps, instead of selling gas, will start selling diesel. And then over time, we will start putting biofuel mixed in with the diesel, starting at 1%, 2%, 5%, 10%, 20%, up until 10 years from now, being at 100% biofuel. There still will have to be gas, because there will still be gas cars. Okay? There will still be lawn mowers, there will still be motorcycles, there will still be other vehicles that still need gas, but it's going to be a very minor part of the economy. And then if you actually take those buy those diesel cars and make them make them hybrids, hybrid, you know, electronic, you know, electric hy hybrids, you could see fuel fuel, you know, fuel economies up to 100 miles a gallon like that. 200 or 300 plus, you know, you know beyond that, if it be it's an electric plug, um, if it's a plug-in electric hybrid. This is not rocket science. The, the, the work's already been done. The infrastructure already exists. The technology already exists. All we have to do is just get off our lazy asses, realize that if we don't do something, we're going to wind up either spinning ourselves into a hole in the ground, having more and more oil spills, which will destroy more and more the economy, you know, the, the ecology and the economy, and we have to make a decision that we're going to do something to change the planet for the better. We can save money in the long run. Okay, we can save money in the long run by doing this. Two, we can save the environment by doing this. We can actually create more jobs by doing this. More jobs here in the United States that cannot be outsourced overseas. Okay, because the cost of transporting the biofuel from overseas to here it, it ruins the the mix. You have you can't. Okay, you, it would be more, you know, it would be cheaper to produce the biofuel here than it would be anywhere else. Now, I know I've been going on for a while, but honestly, if anybody out there does not get that if we don't do something, we're going to keep seeing more oil spills, we're going to see keep seeing more mine disasters. We're going to keep seeing these things that are killing our people, and destroying our economy, and destroying our environment. It's time that we wake up.